Hayden, women's basketball coach Trisha Stafford Odom with a tough, tough game versus Norfolk State. Uh, would you like to make opening statement on today's game? I'm pleased to know uh, that my team is capable of putting up numbers and scoring points. Um, but the disappointing fact comes with the pride we did not take in defense tonight. And, you know, starting out, though, today in the first quarter, you went nine for 18, three-pointer, shots were falling. Talk about that first quarter, what it was like to see the shots falling, a continuation from last game. Yeah, I mean, the first quarter was great. I mean, we were able to see the ball go in. That gives you so much more confidence. Uh, we were sharing the ball. We got some stops. So that helped uh, trigger the offense. Um, but, again, you have to follow up an excellent quarter like that with an even better one. And it starts with the defensive mindset to get the easy baskets because, you know, Norfolk State's a good team. He's going to make adjustments. So it was not going to be that easy. And you talk about not being easy, you know, had 22 for 26 from the free throw line, shot the ball well from there. Talk about, you know, talk about getting easy baskets, get into the paint and able to, you know, shoot so efficiently from the free throw line. Well, that's just focus. I mean, those are things that we have been doing repetitively in practices. Um, so that's just focus, calming yourself, using the entire shot clock to uh, take the shot and get the shot that you want when you get yourself to the free throw line because we try to preach that you've earned that. So go ahead and get your extra point that you've earned. Um, I saw a young team playing hard versus a more experienced team. Um, they knew how to close. We didn't finish. But anywhere in the country you score 75 points, a 30-point quarter, you're usually going to win ball games. It comes down to the defensive side of the ball. And if we get stops, um, we'll be in a great, great position to finish the MEAC. And, you know, talk about today's game, some positives. You know, you guess you can call the big three, Quiche, Anissa, Paulina, all with double figures. Paulina with another double-double. Talk about her and those other two, uh, you know, to, for today's performance. Well, I mean, these young women have shown that they're capable of putting up up numbers. Um, Quiche is a consistent scorer, has been, whether she's a starter or coming off the bench. Paulina is our stable. Um, and again, she didn't get enough shots the first half. Once we fed her the second half, I mean, she scored the majority of her points. Um, I think they decided not to just give her single co coverage, which was smart. Um, but we got to do a better job of recognizing where the mismatch is and recognizing who's hot. And can't say enough about Anissa Rivera. I mean, she had a 15 point first quarter. Somehow, some way, we've got to make an effort to get her more involved offensively the second half. Let's go, coach. Um, and keep her focused and understanding she's young, so she has to understand she does so much more for us than score. Um, she has to step up, take pride defensively. She has to make sure she continues to grab rebounds for us, and that will come naturally because she's a prolific scorer and an awesome talent. And, you know, takeaway from this game, you know, moving on to next week's game, uh, you know, what are you looking forward to and to improve for uh, next week's matchup? <laughs> Defense. <laughs> defensive intensity, defensive effort. Um, and again, we'll continue to play transition basketball with the TSO staff. This has been an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network.